ideals like peace, freedom, and justice, they get packed up, but we cannot go home. Well, I'm not going home. I'm going to get on my boat, and I'm going up river, and I'm going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard that the next bison wannabe is going to feel it. Now, who wants to go home, and who wants to go with me? to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 326. Before we start the show, we want to thank all of our wonderful fans who have supported us. And if you want to show support for the Rated G Network, you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Rated G for Gamers. You can also find us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Rated G for Gamers. And finally, please rate and review on iTunes and Spotify. We appreciate all the love. I'm your host, Dave Rutino, and this is my co-host, Dan, the podcaster formerly known as Classic Robinson. What's going on, man? It's it's hot, 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 hot. It's extremely hot outside. You and uh, you and uh, Robert Smith are thinking alike. Who's he Robert is the, Smith? Um, <laughs> he is the he is the front man. He is the front man to the band The Cure, and they have a song called Hot, Hot, Hot. Hot, hot, oh, wait, 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 that's the song, hot, it's hot, 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 uh, and, and, that's Buster Poindexter, but hot. also a very good reference. Okay, yes. all right, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Formerly right. the New I've, York Dolls. I've, I have no idea who these, these bands are, never heard, okay. I've never heard of the name, but I've okay. probably heard of the the product songs. Oh, you definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you, you may have heard the Cure song. It's not one of their most notable songs, but it is a very good well, song. Well, you know what? And apropos. Well, you know what? I, well, you know what? I need a cure for the hotness. It's hot. Ah, there it is. It you is know, hot. you know, I all stated a cure for the hotness, Dan. You know, do you know my AC is broken? My AC is broken. Well, that's because you don't use it at all. You're cheap. You're cheapo. No, 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 no. That's you're not how that works. Just because you don't use a product doesn't you're mean that it, that, it, that it breaks, that it falls yeah. apart. Yeah, it, fall, it, it it died of loneliness. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I didn't realize it needed a, it needed some love. I gotta, you know, yeah. flick that switch every now and again. Back before, back before the zombie apocalypse, this this man right here wouldn't yep. put the AC on when we recorded in person. He'd no, like, it's a, we got a fan. We got fans. Well, I'm I, like, I no, you're, you know, no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. I should have acquiesced to the guest. Right, you're a guest in my house, even though we're doing the show together. Yeah, you uh, I did. There are there there are many occasions where I threw the AC on though, so. I did because I did it, definitely we, do that. This is a little bit behind the we, scenes, but yeah, yeah. So you haven't, you probably haven't used it since, and it died of loneliness. You're almost. you're almost <laughs> correct. I I used it like four times this summer, and it's funny because when I was playing, uh, I was playing Halo on Thursday, and uh, you know, I was I, w- I was remarking to everybody, is like, oh, um, you know, is because we were all talking about the heat, how it's going to be like unbearable this weekend, and. Conversation of my air conditioning came up because I I did have it on a couple times with people were over and they're like it's not it's not really that like pushing out the air that it should like I have a central air system and all that should be working better than it is right it seems to be working very hard and not not getting a lot of results out of it so what? I turned it on Thursday night to be like let's see how it does overnight and in the morning the uh, the Nest app said hey there may be a problem with your air conditioning. Because you ran it from this time to this time and saw no significant decrease in temperature. And I'm like, wow, you are correct. My AC is not working. So I got a guy coming on Wednesday. Hopefully he'll be able to diagnose it. Getting a little bit of a discount because the Google Nest recommended somebody from Handy. So we'll see. Well, just just probably, you know, probably a a dead zombie. It's like right there in the vent. Oh, my God. Imagine. 
blocking blocking the cold air from coming in. There you go. If I opened that up and saw like a dead rat in there, oh my god, I would scream. I would oh, scream. Well, oh, all right, well, right. Well, obviously, I'm joking because you would smell. <laughs> <laughs> you would smell whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I certainly yeah. would. Um, unless, unless you just, unless you just like, oh, it's just hot in here. That's the, that's what the, that's what the heat smells yeah, like. Yeah, right. It's just the, you yeah, know, natural, it. natural. It's just, it's just very humid. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. There you go. It just smells yeah. like dead rat. No. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming your AC is all good, right? Your, your system's all. Working. Oh, my AC works. I'm just uh, lazy. Okay. I just didn't install it. See, when you're uh, on a house, uh huh. <laughs> okay, you gotta, you gotta take something out and put the AC in because I don't have like um. Well, okay, one, my house doesn't have like my, I have like uh sort of windows that go side by side and it go, you know, vertically. Oh, you have the, yeah, right. the side slide. Mm -hmm. The side slide. So mm -hmm. you can't really, like, uh, modern ACs aren't meant for those type of windows, so you, you have to, like, put a board up on the on the top of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the flaps, the flaps for... come out on the yeah. side, not not mm -hmm. all above, you know. So, um, mm -hmm. so I have a window that I have to remove to put the AC in. And oh, being, and I'm just being lazy. Yeah, that's 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 a bit of a pain. I hate working with windows, so I get you. I get the, you. You know what? The the issue isn't taking the window out. Mm -hmm. It's the issue is putting the window back in. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, yeah, 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 yeah. That's where the tricky part is putting the window back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I can mm -hmm. survive, you know, to mid to mid August, then I'm good. But. You know, it, we're it, almost it, there. It, it, Another couple of weeks, we'll be in the we'll be in the be yeah. in the thick of it. I mean, today is yeah, like past, probably the worst weekend ever. I think past your birth. Weekend. If I can if I can get past your birthday, then then I'm good. But it's coming if I up can't soon. survive, mm -hmm. that, then I gotta take the window out. Mm -hmm. so, listen, listen. Uh, Channel your inner uh, Diana Ross. All right. There you go. <laughs> well, well, I, I love that we you know every week we turn this podcast into something different. This week is the weather podcast where we talk about the weather That's going right. on in New York City. That's All right. right. All right, let's reel this back in. Dave, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have an awesome show this uh, You know, coming up, we're going to talk about Nintendo closing down a couple of eShops, officially closing mm -hmm. down a couple of eShops. Mm -hmm. uh, Sony backtracks, you know, when people go up in arms. When Nintendo, when Nintendo does it and people get they up dig in arms. They dig in deep. Nintendo, they dig in. <laughs> they, they double down. They don't care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to talk about a big game possibly being delayed in 2024. Mm. Right. But before we get into any of that, let's get into the notable games coming out next week. Mm -hmm. um, as always, don't blame me if if I'm missing a game or if there's the uh, you know the actual release date is wrong because I I pull it from Game Informer's website, which they have a great uh, part of the website where all the games that are coming out each month. It's just mm -hmm. you as a as a coder, you would love it because it's so easy to access, right? Sure, you sure. Click sure. on the month and it scrolls yep. right there. Nice. Nice. Uh, it's the summer, so no, not that many, not a lot of bangers, not a lot of mm -hmm. bangers. And this is the last month before Christmas starts, September. That's oh, the, that's, that's right. Christ that's right. Christmas starts. That's we got some heavy that... years coming out in September. That four-month beautiful right. window. If you're a PC player, August 12th, you'll be able to get Marvel Spider-Man, right? Like, I love that game. It's, it's honestly... If I could go back and, it's and fantastic. you know, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's fan. It's fantastic. Two times on the Dave scale. I and and the I only agree. reason I agree. And I think I think it came out the same year as God of War. So that was the only reason why I didn't win. Twenty eighteen. Well, it was good. It was God of War, Spider Man, and Red Dead Two. Yeah, that was a banger year. That was a banger year. Yeah. Now, I didn't play it until afterwards. I think. I'm pretty sure I didn't play it at the time. I didn't have it. I waited on it. I bought it after the fact, so I couldn't really contribute to the conversation. But now that I've like nearly a hundred percent of it, agreed. I'm at like eighty seven percent. I just okay. you know whenever I just need to play something, I just jump in and I'm so like so much you know, fun. Going. Yeah, so yeah. much fun. It's, it's it's they it's it is they did for Spider Man with. You know, uh, I can't think of the studio off the top of my head right now. I'm blanking. Did for Batman, right? Oh, Rock uh, Rocksteady. Rockstar. R mm -hmm. Rocksteady, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they did for 100%, Batman. 100%, yeah. August 19th, uh, we got Madden NFL 23. Oh, okay. this is the game I've been waiting for, Dan. <laughs> this is the game I've been waiting for since Madden 22. <laughs> Comes out, yeah. for all, comes out for all, all uh, systems except for uh, Stadia and the Switch. Yeah. I just like when you buy a car, 
Right? Mm -hmm. They say when you buy a car, as soon as you leave the lot, appreciates by like you know, 10, 15 percent. Right? The car yep. depreciates. Yep. Right. Yep. As soon Which as you is... buy Madden, as soon as you buy Madden, the it day after it's appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, 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 yeah. Immediately, the trade-in value is like twenty dollars. You don't even yeah. get like you don't even get forty bucks, which you would with like a brand new game. The NFL uh, season won't be over. You'll still be able to get uh, this game probably for like ten bucks during the Christmas season, or you'll probably be able to find it in uh, a Goodwill somewhere. That's uh, right. Will immediately, bucks. yeah. As soon as, as soon as they win the Super Bowl, they immediately uh, donate it to Goodwill. Now, do you, uh, do you think it's odd that they haven't put Madden on the Switch yet? At this point in time, six years out. Right, well, five, Six five years. and a half. I just don't think they see the player base on the Switch. Like, you know, do mm -hmm. I, I would love to know. I would love to know the statistics of like how well Madden did on the Wii or the Wii U, right? Like, I don't. Well, I don't they were a lot of people. They played were, it on the Wii or the Wii. They U. were different because they had like the all play or whatever, and like it used the motion controls, which I thought was kind of cool. Like you'd swing the Wiimote back and, and chuck it forward to do like a like a football toss motion. And but you can you have the Wii U pad to run plays, right? Instead of pausing the game. Right? Oh, unlike the Wii U. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I would love yeah. to see the statistics. I don't think anybody to be honest, you know, I don't think anybody's really like clamoring for the Madden on the Switch. Right? Well, I mean they put FIFA out, right? They did. They, they put did. And, NBA two K well, out. But I, I feel like, and I could be wrong. I mm -hmm. could be wrong. I'm not a Madden player, and mm -hmm. you know, I know a lot of Madden players. I feel like when you play Madden, right? Like you're you're on the big screen. You want to be on the big screen. Not this. I mean, I know you can be on the big screen on the Switch, but the, yeah. the the thing for the Switch is mostly portable. And I can't see anybody, you know, leaving and, and playing Madden portably, right? Like I think Madden is more of a you know, played on the big screen type of game. Right, you want the big theater experience. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I agree with you. You know, you want the best graphics. You want the surround sound. You want all that good stuff, so. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll be honest, I don't even think, uh, you know, oh, and, and look at NBA 2K, right? Mm -hmm. I would love to know the statistics on how many, how many system, how many games they sold on the 2K system. And every time you... Every time you buy one on there is a big download sticker, right? It's like half the game you have to download. Yeah. Uh, onto the onto the system. I would imagine it would be the same with Madden. Right? Oh yeah, no, no. Almost 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 uh almost assuredly, yeah. And I bought, But I mean that's not I gonna bought, I don't think that's gonna stop anybody. And I bought that first I and you know I buy NBA two K all the time, every year. And I bought mm -hmm. that first uh the first year it was on the Switch. I bought it. I, I, it was so long ago. Kyrie Irving was still with the Celtics because he's on the cover of the Celtics jersey. That's right. That's right. That's right. Way back. So I bought it. I bought it just for like, oh, this is the first two NBA two K on the Switch, and I had to download half the game. And I played it, and I never, I never played it portably. I've never, mm -hmm. I've, I didn't take it out with me. Mm -hmm. I always had to, I always played it docked to play on the big screen with a pro controller. Right. Yeah. You really, when you're playing the sports game, you kind of want to be just like a um, fighting game. You want to be precise. And yes. what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. So I think because of those reasons, I never bought another NBA 2K game on the Switch. <laughs> right. All right. PlayStation all the way. For sure. Uh, yeah. Well, PlayStation or Xbox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mostly PlayStation. Um, right, right. I, you know, everybody, if you listen to the show, you know, I love my first person shooters with the uh, Xbox. Yep. controller yep. but i love my sports and i love my fighting games with the you know the dual shock of sense controller mm -hmm. so all right uh, if you don't think well marvel marvel spider-man is not a new game and madden if you're not a madden player that's okay because the first big game coming out in august will be august it's august 23rd so towards the end of august saints row coming out for ps5 ps4 <laughs> Huh. Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Yeah, not a new game though. A remake of the first one, right? So it's it's, it's a new game. It's a, it's a soup the nuts remake with a lot of new stuff it, we hear. It's a new so. skew. I mean, I I guess yeah. there's enough new in there, but but it is it is based off the original. Um, it's yeah. Well, just because it's based on the original doesn't mean it's not sort of a new game. I mean, we get reboots all the time. You know, remakes all the time of movies. It's a new movie. 
right? You may know the underlying story and some of the characters, but it's a brand new. I movie. mean, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. New yeah. actors shot differently, probably you know moved around some things, right? So sure, it's 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 sure. new enough, sure. right? That it could be game of the year. It would be nominated for game of the year, as uh, Dave tells me. It's are new are you saying right here, right now, that you think Saints Row the remake could be a game of the year contender? It's not even out, and I'll take it over Elden Ring any day. Dude. Wow! You haven't even played that game yet. All right, I'm sorry. You are now known as Dan the Hater, not Dan formerly known as Classic. I'm sorry. This guy. You right. said you were going to play it. You haven't even cracked and the box yet. I still will. I still will. No, I will no, 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 no. I will no. play it. No, 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 no. You can want to do anything. You can no, say I that will. eventually it will, will happen. I that will doesn't mean it. that it's going to it's going to happen i'm telling you i don't saying i want first of all you I don't could, you could say anything after it. after i, I don't will want i don't want to play it i will fly okay, into you know space what? and eat a bucket of kfc chicken i can say that because it could can. happen but it's it not could. it's it never could. gonna happen i don't i don't think it'll be in that order it may be in the reverse order, <laughs> the chicken and then fly in this i'll space take it eventually. i'll take it because you know Listen, if you got $20 concerned, million, dollars, you can space. do whatever you want, right? If you get $20 million just to, to spend, dollars. you can do whatever you want. You know? It's true. I could own two copies of Little Samson and go to space. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You could buy, for $20 million, you could own every copy of Little Samson. Uh, probably, yes. Probably. That, ex that still exists. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Coming out August 30th. Uh, destroy all humans to reprobe. So it's mm -hmm. the the remake of the second game, and it's coming out on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and PC. No mention of PS4. So if it is coming out on PS4, you can blame Gaming Former for not putting that in their on their list because they don't list the PS4, only the PS5. Right, and it says Xbox One, but not yeah, Weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, but that's the, the game that I'm really super, super looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabunga Collection, coming out PlayStation oh, yeah. 5, yeah. PS, PlayStation 4, mm -hmm. Xbox Series X, mm -hmm. S, and mm -hmm. PC. I love it's the collection that when they announced it, we all said, oh my God, this is going to be great. Right, sure. like we, it has all the all the games, and I think the uh, Turtles in Time is the best Turtles game ever. Well, all the what? eight bit and sixteen bit versions. Of yes, all the fighting games, all of the beat 'em ups, uh, which is great. I mean, that's it's a solid collection. Don't get me wrong. Well, yeah, it's coming out August thirtieth, mm -hmm. then. And one of the good things I love about it, it has the Japanese versions, I, I believe, as well. It has the Japanese oh, really? On it too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't they're, know they were that. They're good. all they're the arcade, by the way. They're arc, this is the arcade port, so it's not it's not the console. It's the right. Console, the arcade so because they did say they had to add in because like when you go to when you played an arcade, whatever station you went to is turtle that you were playing. With. So they had to add in player uh, turtle select screen. That's right. That's right. Games. Yeah. 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 And and it has a rewind feature. You know, a lot of you know those 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 sure. NES games were really tough. They were tough. Wouldn't you just want a limited continues? Wouldn't that take care of that? I know. I want the rewind feature, especially when it's like this one little part that's really, really hard to get through. Oh. Right. Well, I guess. I guess if you're talking about like Turtles One on the NES, yeah, there yeah. were some like crazy yeah. jumps. You want to be able to go back and do those again? Yeah, yeah, because that was really a hindrance to that game. It didn't need to be that tough. Like you had to know precisely well, how to do it. Apparently, so. apparently. Um, they were. I was watching an interview. Uh, with IGN. The developer was talking, saying that um, in in the arcade games, right? If you were really, if you were, if you were the one percent that were really good, really, really good, mm -hmm. and you weren't taking any damage. The the arcade game would uh, do something really just to kill you because it wants quarters. So what they did was they kept that in, but you could turn that off. I forgot what it's called, but you could turn it off. Wow. So if you do really good, they basically like it's an unavoidable attack. Yes. Wow, that's yes. that's effed up. That's effed because up. Because they want they want more quarters. They I mean, of quarters. course, of course. All of them are designed in a way Sorry. for you to get hit, you know, 
And they always have the move that, like, you can get out of any situation, but it takes some life away. You know, yeah. it's structured, structured very specifically for that. So, yeah. But they want, yeah. yeah so, but they, but they added, they left it in, but you can turn it off. So mm-hmm. that's a, so that's if a you great... want, you the real authentic experience. Okay. Yeah. Good move. So Good move. looking forward to that. That's mm-hmm. that's that's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm definitely buying that mm-hmm. day one. All right. Just you know, we all, we we don't cover the PlayStation Plus, and we don't cover Xbox Live with gold games that come out. As m- at all, really, unless it's like a really big game that comes out. Well, it's Games really because Pass get... and, and the new PlayStation thing kind of overshadowed it, you know? Yeah, yeah, it overshadowed it. But with Nintendo, it's always a special thing when we get a drop of new games, right? Because mm-hmm. we don't get it every month. We mm-hmm. don't get it every mm-hmm. month. And we got three new games, you know, coming to the Nintendo online service on the 21st. We got Kirby's Avalanche, Fighter's History, and there's a shoot 'em up that's a Japanese game. Can't get the, what's the name of this game? It's called Diva Story 6, Imperial of Nurserita. Okay, I, I, need you, I need you to say that 15 times fast. Drake. Uh, I'm going to pass. Okay. I'm yeah. going to pass. Uh, d- d- I didn't know we were getting the six. We didn't even get the first five. <laughs> I Yeah, I five of these games that we didn't know about. From the NES, uh, maybe it's like Leonard Part Six, the the weird the weird movie with Bill Cosby that like the first one was called Leonard Part Six and there was like no mention of the other parts. It's very weird. Um, I have no idea. I have no oh idea what that even is. The movie is ridiculous. He he throws hamburger meat at people at uh, at uh, some point in time during this uh, during this movie. Yeah, it's it's weird. Um, okay. I, I, I looked up some video real quick at Dive of Part 6. It's part shooter, part, like, uh, tactical space adventure. Like, there's some, like, uh, turn-based stuff going on, I think. Looks really weird. Uh, very curious. Very Japanese. And very um, Japanese. Fighter's History is uh, is okay. It's a middle-of-the-road it, fighting fighter. game. It's a Street Fighter 2 ripoff. Oh, from day it, to east. it's so much a Street Fighter ripoff that that Capcom sued them for nice. uh, basically like aping off of, you know, Ken and Ryu and and, and a lot of the other characters. Um, I oh, believe yeah. they won. Yeah, I was I about to they say, won did they win? I believe. And, and what and what was the compensation? Was it money, or did they have to take it down? Like what? what I what well, they didn't have to take it down because because they made they made sequels. Or stop selling or mo- they made sequels? Yeah, they made they made more sequels to this. Actually, Karnov is is in the he i believe he's in this one and also the sequels uh which is which is crazy i I only seen this game when i Mm -hmm. went to go look it up uh to to buy the original which i do now i own yeah yeah Uh, i thought i only seen this game so maybe the sequels are only arcade only they weren't uh they were on well they weren't on the super nintendo i believe they were on the neo geo Okay, that makes I sense. I think, so. yeah, and they were definitely in the arcade for sure. Um, yeah. yeah, no, no okay. it's weird. It's a weird, uh, all right, weird, uh, yeah. Dave, as we always try to start the show but epically fail, mm-hmm. what have you been playing? Mm-hmm. Well, we got a uh, we got a very special Saturday morning retro coming up, Dan. So I want to I want to rep I want to rep that next episode and uh, and also let the world know that I have been playing. Uh, Blood for the PC, the classic first-person shooter based off the build engine from 1997, made by Monolith Soft, which uh, not to be confused with the other Monolith who makes the Xenoblade games, a uh, different company. Gotcha. But um, <coughs> yeah, I've been having a blast with it. Um, I will say that I will leave will leave my full thoughts for the uh, next Saturday morning retro episode. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, there's a lot, okay. there's a lot in there, you know, they got a uh, four full chapters, uh, plus there's the expansion, which is another 10 levels. Uh, there's some hidden levels. They have multiplayer in there. Um, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot okay. of stuff, you know, definitely got your money's worth when you bought that game. But, uh, so, but how about you? So as you know, I have, you know, two separate places where I play video games. I have the living room, all the mm-hmm. digital mm-hmm. games, all the digital mm-hmm. systems, right? Uh, it's like I have it all themed. It's all white, and down in the the game room, it's all themed all black. <laughs> I have mm-hmm. All the disc mm-hmm. bases. So when I'm in the 
uh, when I'm in the game room, I was playing Yakuza Zero because I, I I I'm starting to really I want to say love. I'm gonna say love. I don't mm. go that far. Mm. Really, really like. I may ask to go steady. You know, you, you're in that. You're gonna ask to go steady. You don't love them just yet. Yeah, right. Right. Okay. It's like, can can we be exclusive? <laughs> like, I don't love love you yet, but I mean, I'm oh, you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah. The Yakuza series. I did Yakuza, the nice. original one. Mm-hmm. I did the, U- the original Yakuza game for Saturday Morning Retro. Speaking of Saturday Morning Retro. That's uh, right. I think it was two or three Saturday Morning Retros that go. So go back yep. and check the archive. Mm-hmm. Um, I beat Judgment and Lost Judgment. I did that backwards. I beat Lost Judgment first. And, and then, then went back to Judgment. the original, which was a spinoff of the Yakuza series. Yeah, the Yakuza, right? yes. Because mm-hmm. the Yakuza series going forward, I think, is going to be turn-based. And the, the Judgment series will be the you know traditional... Uh, you know, uh, live action. Right? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I went Yakuza Zero. I played on my Series X, but it's on Games Pass. So I, you know, I did that. Mm-hmm. I do, I do own the game. By the mm-hmm. way, I do own it. Mm-hmm. I went on the PS4, but I did download it on my Series X, and I was playing it. I was a little disappointed that they didn't have any English voice acting. There's no options for that in this. It's all Japanese yeah. voice actors, and you have to read the subtitles. And I. I didn't know how if I really wanted to get into the reading subtitles, but the story got so crazy after like an hour and a half in that I kept playing. (laughs) As it does, you know, as it does. So I'm about I'm about three or four hours in Mm -hmm. and I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but I'm I'm really I'm really liking the Yakuza series. Again, Yakuza Zero is the prequel to the original. So I already played the Mm -hmm. original. Mm -hmm. I didn't beat it. But I do own Yakuza uh, Kiwami, which is a remake of the original. So okay. I may go back and play that right okay. after Zero. So. Mm-hmm. That, and upstairs, in my living room, I have my Series S, which I've been playing a little bit of uh, TMNT Shredders. Ooh, so good. So good, Dan. It is. It is. So good. So, you know, I, I you know what it is? The, the Working from home, the pleasures of working from home. Whenever there's a little time, you know, you gotta, you gotta roll around over, here, right? Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. just roll over and you mm-hmm. know, be, you know, be the stage, mm-hmm. and then and then roll right back to my office. I'm gonna say something very controversial, Ben. And, okay, uh, you know, fans right. can fans all can right. shower you know hate. What? You know what? At, you know what? At I, rated G for gamers on all social. I networks. knew, I knew you would come around. You're about to say something controversial to everybody who likes Super Mario Brothers Three Overworld that you have now come to like. And love and see the light that Super Mario World is the best Mario game of all time. You yes, know what? I have. I have, Dan. You are. Co- no. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, Shredder's Revenge. Best best turtles beat him up. Hands down. No way. No Hands way. Down. Oh, my God. Hands no. down. No. no. No way. No way. The fact no way. that the fact turtles that you time. can play is. Turtles in time. Turtles in time. Better. Turtles Wait. in time is great. Don't get me wrong. This is even better. You can play no. as uh, Splinter. You can play as April. You can play as uh, Casey Jones after you unlock him. Uh, there's a ton more variety in the moves. Uh, yeah. Way too much variety. It's like it's like having a video game collection. You have too much variety. You don't know what to play. You don't I, have to use all the moves like to, if you don't want to, but being like able to, to do different things simple. to mix it up is good. I like to keep it simple. I, I like the simplicity. You could of, do like two moves older games. in in Turtles in Time. Two Three moves. moves. You can you can kick, punch. Well, use your weapon. Not really a punch. Kick. Use your weapon. Throw. And uh, you can throw them at the screen, which that. was awesome. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's how they originated it, and that's how you had to. And I like the and I like the story. Story of it was great. The set pieces were great. I'm not. I mean, as fond for the set pieces in Shredder's Revenge. Oh, I will say. Come on. I think they're good, but I don't think they're great or anything mind-blowing in my okay I, I know you so, love the story this is very high for you but i'm not playing a fighting game for the story dan playing playing the playing a fighting game up. so i can I mean, bash beat, him, heads beat, him up. Uh, beat him up beat him up beat him up yeah yeah playing a play yeah. to beat him up to bash heads in. well but. again i think the story really captivated right turtles in time it was this crazy thing in the set it's a cool pieces, story really, yeah, yeah which which you go which back told time, yeah. which helped tell the story like the dinosaur you know when you're you're, in, you're back in prehistoric time where you're on a boat and yeah, you're on a train. Yeah, I mean, yeah, all of those, just the set pieces. I think, mm-hmm. really made that 
that game what it was. Mm-hmm. And again, I like Shredder. I, I really like Shredder's Revenge. I don't, you know, I, this is nothing again. Like, I love Super Mario Brothers three too. Like, I love that game too. I just don't think it's better than World, but I love that. I mean, game. I, you can be you can I be wrong will, in your opinions. You can be wrong on both those facts. No, that's, not, that's not how that works. That's you not, be, no, you, you, no, you can be wrong, Dan. Works. This is this is America. You're not this you're not, not punished for your opinions. That's actually not true, but yeah. <laughs> in most cases, okay. we're not gonna get into that. Yeah. I think I think Turtles in Time is the best. I think is the culmination, and I think is the best. I mean, Turtles it's better game. than it's better than the first arcade yeah. game for sure. I think it's better than the the best Turtles game of all time. Mm-hmm. That's my view. It's mm-hmm. on my top ten list. Of That's right. Games That's of all right. time as well. That's right. So I had to I had to retroactively go back. I like, can't believe I forgot that game. Yep. So. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we're getting to the top gaming news of last week. And we're back. All right, Dave, let's get into the top gaming news of last week. And let's start with a RIP to Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U and Nintendo 3DS eShops. We knew they were coming to an end. We just didn't know when. They mm-hmm. stopped payments, but you could still put money on uh, like a card or something, right? Like you can always add funds. You can add funds to your wallet. Right. And, and starting on the 29th next month, uh, you would no longer be able to add fund, and ma- March twenty seventh of next of next year, you're no longer be able to download any purchase. Mm-hmm. So it would be a complete shutdown. Those e shops. So if you if you if you bought anything, mm-hmm. download them now. You have a year. You have, you have a little less than a year to download them to your yeah, system like, or a like hard drive or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if you need to buy anything, you can add funds to your wallet. For the next month, and then, and then so, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. it. So I will say this: I, I did buy a bunch of games. We could still use a credit card. I did buy a bunch of games, old games. I, I brought like old games, like Ocarina of Time and stuff like that, because I want to play them on, you know, using the the Wii Pro controller on the big screen. So mm-hmm. I, I did buy those. Mm-hmm. I bought a, mm-hmm. a bunch of games, and they're downloaded already. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I think there's some other games. I think there were like some SNES games or uh, some Game Boy Advance games. I wanted to sure. purchase, so I may look into sure. that. Uh, I do have to boot up my 3DS because I know I did buy some Castlevania games way back in the day. Oh, when we first started the show, right yeah. before I even owned those games, I wanted to play a bunch. You know, those Castlevania; right. those games are expensive. Uh, uh they are. Yeah, especially if you want them complete in box. Uh, they're very expensive, even like even like loose. Uh, so I have to go, I have to go back. Nintendo Switch to go Online, back. though. Yeah, but I own them, so. <laughs> well, well, do you really though? I mean, uh, this is well, a conversation the, we had the last go- week. The, the the digital future. Well, you know what? You know what? Put it this way: if I could still download them and have access to it on my 3ds, then mm-hmm. you know what? I I own them digitally. <laughs> so, I I'm gonna download them and have them just so I can have because you never know when I want to play them. You know, on the go or the way you know with the with the 3d you know with the 3ds because I know. Yeah, no, you're right. They are on the Switch Online. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And also in the, right. so, the the most recent Castlevania collection, if you own that. But that's that's true. You know, uh, actually, you can get that digitally too. You don't necessarily need a physical for that. Um, a couple of things I'll say. One, they they've given the f- f- fans, consumers, enough lead up time, which is good. Mm-hmm. You get you get nine months to download your stuff again, which is good. If anybody's going to want to do it. That's enough time. I, I, I appreciate that because not everybody gives you a big enough lead up time. Um, the one thing that I would say uh, about all of this, because we talked about it last week, digital future and you don't really own your stuff and, you know, whatever else. And it becomes apparent. It sucks. Yeah. It sucks. It becomes apparent every time something shuts down. Right. Oh, well, I can't. Or something can't gets get delisted. Or right. something gets delisted. Right. right? Now. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've ever downloaded anything digitally on the 3DS, but you don't need to authenticate any of your purchases, right? Once you download it, that's it? I believe that's true. It's been a while, so I, okay. I can't, I can't, I can't really confirm that. 
Because I know on the Switch you do. You have to do it every, like, seven days or whatever to make sure you have whatever license it is before it expires. I talked about that story last week. Um, so that being said, if the 3DS doesn't have that, that's great. I don't think the Switch should have that either, but that's another story. Um, for games that are on both the Wii U, 3DS, the Switch, whatever it is, I think, and not just in time, I think all game companies should give you the ability to download it on the new service. I I, I don't think it's, it's fair. On, they, if it's on there. If it's on well, there. of course, of course. I mean, it, you know, if, if they didn't do the work to port the game, there's not much you can really do. But if there's Super Mario World, right, if there's the greatest game of all time, right, according to Dan, and he wants to play it on a Switch, you already made the purchase. It's the same exact game. I, I would say it would be good to do that. I mean, the fans would be over the moon about that, right? My purchases would, will carry over. Like, come on. I would, I would say, I would say, I don't disagree with you. Okay. But from from a company standpoint, you know how they would get around that rule, right? You mm-hmm. know how they. I tell you, I tell you exactly how they'll get around that rule, right? They'll shut it down months or a year before it comes to the new console system. Right? Oh, so. Well, that, so, that shouldn't matter. You still made the purchase, it, right? It's on your account. Oh, no, we don't have a record of it anymore. That we shut that down. That's all done. Well, no, no. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying the company. I'm, 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 I'm asking for the company to be responsible and customer forward, right? I'm saying, yeah, I'm so. saying, do the right thing, right? You know, be like Spike Lee, right? Come on. All right, let's shift gears and talk about Ubisoft. All right, uh, huge game for them, Avatar. It's going to be, it's being delayed, possibly 2024. Now, I don't know about you. I like the first movie of Avatar. It was entertaining. Not looking looking forward to the next 10. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, if he gets gets part two out in the next uh, decade, I would be uh, very surprised. Well, two and three apparently were shot at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Which, which, you know, it's just like the Matrix. They did them back to back. But then... But then, you know, four and five are written, the scripts are written, and he won't direct. Somebody else will be directing mm-hmm. uh, to give them a different type of feel. He'll still be an executive producer. Um, but, but I don't know about you. I wasn't excited for the original Avatar game, right? Oh, like, you mean the one that's on the Wii? It's on uh, all systems. It's Wii. It's on the Wii. It's on PS3 and yeah. uh, 360. I have it for the pre- PS3. Yeah, it's um. I don't know. I, I, I own the Wii version, but I, I'm never going to play it. I, I, I'm i pretty sure it's trash. I, I, I don't, I mean, I, we don't know if, and uh, excuse me, you know, like, listen, you can hit us up if we're if I'm wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Hit us up online. I don't know if this ties into the movie at all, right? I don't know if this I is would like assume. a movie tie-in. I would assume. And it's, I haven't, I know that we've seen a trailer, but I, yeah. I haven't seen exact game, like gameplay. Right? No, no, we just saw we that. just saw a very pretty trailer, so we don't know yeah. how the game's gonna play. It'll probably be like a Horizon Zero Dawn style third person action adventure open world game. Uh but I have zero interest. I I really? just don't care. Really? Avatar is cool and all in it twenty twenty four. Avatar, Avatar looked cool and all in the theaters. It was very pretty, but the story was terrible, the characters weren't interesting. I mean you know the story. The whole... Well, I, I, will, I wouldn't say the story. I don't think the story was terrible. It was uh, unoriginal. I mean, it's it's the same story as the Smurfs or Fern Gully or or any you know any movie about Native Americans. I mean, that's exactly yeah. what it was. You know, coming in, taking yeah, the well, land, destroying it. Yeah, yeah, taking it from the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah of, the people that should cult, be there. Instead which, of culturing which... relationships, they were right. just coming in to destroy. Right. You know. Yeah, no. Which I you know, it. I feel for. I feel for, but I, yeah, I was I was semi looking forward to this game because I thought, you know, if it is sort of like a Horizon style game mm-hmm. in that world, that would be mm-hmm. super interesting, and we'll see what story they could tell. So uh, you know, I wanted to see more. I wasn't, you know, this isn't my most yeah, we didn't game that was coming out, but it's, yeah. it's a game that was on my radar that I, I kind of wanted mm-hmm. to. I was really getting into. 
I don't know how far in development they are. I mean, you know, to possibly be delayed, you know, into 2024. Right. It's gonna, you know, this was they were slated right. for a 2023 release. So right, they were, right, you know, right, right. Which I don't know where that ties in ties up with like the movie launch or anything. So maybe it's like outside of that. It's just is in it that the world. movie? Is it the movie supposed to come out t- this year? Right? Maybe. <laughs> that's, year? that's how much we know about it. That's maybe. how much we know about it. Um, at least it's in it's in good hands, right? Ubisoft does Far Cry. Ubisoft does Assassin's Creed. They do um, well. They do the Tom Clancy games. Uh, they do the Division. You know, they have experience. Well, they have experience. Well, well, Ubisoft. Well, speaking of that, Ubisoft actually canceled four games internally, mm-hmm. which you know, people were kind of worried about. You know, four games being canceled, but they this this game isn't canceled, and I can't imagine this game. It's too big of a game. They spent so much money probably on getting the IP for, for sure, you know, retaining their rights. For sure, so this 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 game has to come out. But you know, it, it questions what uh, what internal games could be canceled. Mm-hmm. But you speak of Assassin's Creed, uh, or you know, according from reports, the Assassin's Creed Red, you know, sort of leaked. But there are multiple Assassin's Creed games in the works. Four, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Now this this I'm excited about. Really, I love Assassin's I, Creed, I'm, and I'm totally opposite. Well, first, Origins was the best one in my view. I loved Origins. I loved Origins Black Flag. Those, those, mm-hmm. those were like my two favorite Assassin's Creed games. In mm-hmm. Liberation on the Vita, sure. Oh, Liberation, we talked about that last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Liberation first Assassin's Creed game ever, and I played it on the Vita. My girlfriend at the wow. time, a long time ago, got me the all white special. Mm-hmm. Right, so. Mm-hmm. That was my first Assassin's Creed ever I played. And then I played Black Flag and then Origins, I think. It's like You should you should go and play uh you should go and play two and uh and Brotherhood the, and the third one in the Ezio trilogy. God, I can't think of the name. I'm not excited about sure. having four in the works because let's say, you know, they're you know, you got one that's obviously the mainline one. Mm-hmm. What are the, what are the other three? Gonna be uh cell phone games? Mobile, you know, like mobile games. Or, oh, uh, there's maybe an there's on- online component. It can't be the the next one after the one that they're developing that they're one that they want to put out next year. Well, they've they've had multiple ones out before. They've had like you know 3ds titles and like you know ones that are like uh, 2d. The there was like um, I know there was a Russia, there was Assassin's Creed China, and I think India. There was like three small 2d adventure ones, which were actually really good. They were just very different. Um, they did have cell phone games. That's 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 another avenue. I'm sure they're gonna have, you know, now like full 3D cell phone versions of them. Um, I think they could do it. You know, I mean, I mean, we're talking about the lays and whatever and and all this other stuff. Ubisoft is still a pretty big studio. Assassin's Creed, their bread and butter. You know, yeah, it's the one that kind of really thrust them into the spotlight. I think. I mean, that and Rayman, I guess. Or really, the, the like the big games. I guess yeah, true, but look, everything you said was those smaller sort of titles that were interesting that were for handheld game sure. systems, right? We don't really have that anymore, um, unless you want to say that the Switch game would be a totally different game than that would be on PS5 or an Xbox Series X. It could be. It could be. Um, that would be interesting. I mean, listen, yeah. they had PS4 and Xbox One. I f- they had PS4 and Xbox One, Assassin's Creed, and then they added they had Rogue, which was only out on 360. And PS3. That's right, that's right. I still have yet to play that. I gotta go back. I, th- I think it was really just Assassin's Creed Black Flag Redux, to be honest. But um, it it got good reviews. I have to go back and play that. But yeah, I mean that it was got, a situation it got better. They had it got play. better reviews than the PS4 Xbox One version. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But that could be uh, interesting. I could see that maybe mm-hmm. you know having the mainline Assassin's Creed game that hasn't been out on. Uh, which they've ported older games. They haven't, ported, yep. they haven't had new games. Yeah. But you have, this is the Switch version. This is a brand new, you know, story with somebody else, you mm-hmm. know, in a different set piece or something like mm-hmm. that for the Switch. I can see that. I and the last that. new Assassin's Creed game was Odyssey, I think, right? In 2018. It's been a long while. Or 2019, yeah, I Odyssey maybe. was okay. I yeah. It was okay. Yeah. I but, was... I mean, that was the last one, you know, besides the remix. Um, yeah. So it's, you know, it's about damn time. It was my first <laughs> next gen title, oh, or current gen title. That yeah, I bought. and because you could play it on the series, you could play it on the Xbox One. That's right. 
That's right. So, all right, let's talk about Dave's favorite game company. Oh, Konami. oh, Dave, I love Dave, them. They're Dave. number one on my book. Yeah, number yeah, one on my yeah. book, Dan. You know it. Listen, he's just, uh, he loves all their Pachinko machines. So he's the big mm-hmm. pachinko machine fan. Every time well. I every time I go to Japan, I, I just I, I just go to the floor with the pachinko machines, and I go, so Konami, "This is the best Metal Gear game ever." Konami Konami is making a world baseball and softball confederation, so they're still making games, baby. They're still they're still not just not just pachinko machines. They're still mm-hmm. making games. Hmm. Uh this is cool. You know, always about more baseball games. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be free to play like their new soccer game, which is apparently very terrible. I don't know how it is now, but I remember when it came out, it was a train wreck because that's what, that's what Konami's into. They make mobile games and they make Pachinko machines and they monetize the crap out of their mobile games. And, and they, and they look at nostalgia by putting out collections of older games and, uh huh. Don't forget about the Silent Hill rumors, right? About two Silent Hill games being made. One that's for you know PS5 exclusive, mm-hmm. and you know because they think we think Sony has some involvement in you know putting up money and development for that, and then another Silent Hill game that'll be out on all platforms. And let's yeah, and not let's not forget about the rumored uh, Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Solid remake. They were to remake the first as well. Sure. So that I would think definitely there's some truth. Well, but I think there's some truth to all of that. Uh, I mean, sure. I mean, especially if Sony is putting money behind uh, putting out a new Silent Hill game, right? Because it's Japanese horror. People, people uh, love it. You know, they did pretty well with uh, Death Stranding when they, when they, when they, when they funded Kojima's game. So I would, I would believe that's in the works. I just, I want to see a trailer. Let me see what it looks like. I just don't know about a world baseball game, right? Like, I mean, I know baseball is big in Japan, right? Yep. It's yep. Big in Japan, right? And, and they can have, is there, you know what? Is the, you know, let me, side note, baseball is big in Japan. Now that I think about it, do they have like a Japanese baseball game? Well, like video the... game, Japanese centric. Yes. I don't I even, do. what's the league? What's the league called? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I know that I know that my cousin played in that league for a little bit. I'll tell you that, a little behind the scenes. Um, okay. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you know that. My cousin, no. my, my my second cousin, I should say, he was uh, he was a triple A ball player for a we while. Don't recognize numbers at Rated G. Your okay. cousin, it's your cousin. All right, all right. So my my cousin was a triple A ball player for a while. He uh, had a few stints with the majors with the. Uh, the um the Miami Marlins, yes, yes, the Marlins, the Flor- the, uh, Florida Marlins, but Florida they're, Marlins, they're, that's they're, right. They're in Miami. They're that's in right. Miami. That's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, the Milwaukee Brewers and the yes. uh the New York the New York Mets for half a season, and I got to okay. I got to see him hit a home run, which nice. was amazing, because my dad clipped out a thing in the paper the next day that had Rotino on the back of a Mets jersey, and I'm like. I, you don't know how every time I see that photo, I'm like, that's amazing. That's our name. All right. That's family right there who was playing for Major League, uh, you know, Major League Baseball team. I haven't seen him in ages, but I was saying all that to say he he, he played in Japan, I think, his last year or two or whatever. So he, he did get to play over there. Uh, I don't know what the league is, but I do know that the RBI, I believe this is true, the RBI baseball games were called uh, like Famitsu baseball or something like that, and it was a little more Japanese. And then I think they, when they brought them over here, they changed it around a little bit, used the American teams, some of the American teams, uh, and kind of used the American names to kind of appeal to the American audience, I guess. Um, so there's there's yeah. like a series there, and I'm sure there's, I mean, there's definitely others. Interesting. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Well, since we talked about Sony. Potentially <laughs> funding, mm-hmm. you know, a mm-hmm. new Silent Hill mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Sony really is, they want to get into competitive, you know, esports game. So, yeah, yeah. Sony, you know, they own Evo, right? They bought they bought Evo. And now they've also purchased Repeat. Now, uh, Repeat.gg is a platform that hosts, like, uh, you know, esports tournaments. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Fortnite, uh, League of Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, right? And they also, this is the thing about 
uh, repeat.gg. They have automatic result tracking. So it's like an easier method of tracking player stats okay. in, you know, specific tournament. Sure, sure. Already there. So nice. they really they really want to get a hand in, in this too. So, I, I, you know, I, I'd love it how all three companies are doing three different things, right? Like mm -hmm. Microsoft is just buying IPs, buying yeah. studios. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're like uh, Thanos. They're just picking up companies. <laughs> this is picking up companies, right? And Nintendo, you know, we talked about it last week of them just uh, – picking up sort of a, a, a film studio that mm -hmm. help with you know graphics and games and Dynamo, potentially yeah. getting into film right and sony sitting here you know uh, getting in the discord they m minority owner discord i think they bought like 20 percent of them sure right sure they, they put a billion dollars and i know there was a billion dollars in a discord which actually now discord chat is now available or coming to xbox uh, systems so yeah natively that. which is which is wild yeah, and you know, and they're definitely getting into uh, buying smaller studios like Haven, mm -hmm. officially in right Bungie. You know, mm -hmm. it is to be fair, Bungie is a smaller studio compared to other studios. They're officially in now, right? Those purchases have gone through, mm -hmm. and they're getting into you know esports. I mean, yeah. short of buying, well, I don't know if you could buy an esports team, but they want to own. They want to own the you league. You can. Yeah. Robert 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 Kraft owns an esports team. Fifty Cent owns so an esports so team. Fifty right? Cent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you definitely can. I don't know. I think so I'd be wanna, a bit of they, a conflict of interest if they you own, own, they own if you own the competition and also the competitors who were in that. They want to. They want to own. They want to. They want to own the platforms, mm -hmm. and they want to own the tracking system that right. keeps the stats right. for all the game. Right. So mm -hmm. it's okay. Smart right. move. It's a, it's a Smart different move. approach. Yeah, yeah. I don't know repeat, but um, they look like they're pretty official in the esports world. So I think it feels like a good pickup. And lastly, on the news, uh, we knew Doom Eternal was coming out for the Switch, right? That we got that at E3, but Doom Eternal is getting a physical edition by a limited run, and it's a collector. I not really into this because I would love like to have like a Doom Doom guy statue, of some sort of Doom head, Doom guy head, or something sure. like that. But you know, I'm not into the little chashis or whatever. We do got an art book. We got a lot of artwork, artwork, but in reversible cover. But who cares about the reversible cover? You're getting a steel book. You see, you see these. Are, steel book is nice. When yeah. You, when you get in, the, when you get in, when you're getting the collector's edition available, you know, you gotta, you gotta think like, who is this for, and what do they want, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want. The regular, I don't want a reversible case and a steel book. Give me one or the other. I want one or the other. I want a steel book. I don't well, want I mean, the, the more you get for it. your money, the better, right? Like, True, but but give me, give me, the more you give me, give me what, give me more substance, right? Well, like, I mean, that makes sense. Things a reversible sense. cover is, is pretty low stakes. It's just some printer ink and a and a graphic know, designer I, at a computer for a few hours. You know? I know, but de depending on how you stack your collection, it's like you know you, you're gonna have something extra that you're not using, right? So just give me a steel book or give me a reversible case. Give me one or the other. Don't give me both. Well, I mean, unless like, you have unless you have separate um, editions, then that would make more sense, right? Right. This edition comes with the steel book, and well, this, this is this is like the full on case. everything, yeah. But, but yeah. I mean, you do get a um, you do get a a five inch uh, super shotgun replica, a mini Slayer key, right? The gate key to open yeah. up uh, some of the locked areas, and you get a bunch of vinyl cover prints. Like in the game, you can you can you can pick up uh, uh, tracks from all the different games, and they have like you know like they're like vinyl. Uh, I was going to say vinyl CDs, but vinyl records. Um, and you get like all of them, I think, or like 15 of them at least, or 16 of them. You get yeah. a lot. So, I mean, you know, and, and, and you get like a sticker sheet. You also get a poster. Um, yeah, poster of him with the little bunny, which I think is kind of <laughs> funny. Um, it'd be, you know, and, and then you also get a little keychain. You get a, you get a, you get a keychain with the helmet, Dan. So there you go. No, I want the helmet statue. I don't want like, a keychain. That would be helmet. nice. Give me the, the, Give that me that, that, that me would both. be nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's... your pre-orders start July 29th uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. through September 11th, and it's $175. Mm -hmm. This is for the, the soup to nuts one, yeah. Yeah. Is it something that you're interested in? Something that you're going to get? 
You love Doom Eternal. I I love I love I love everything about Doom. Uh, Doom Eternal, amazing. Yeah, definitely nominated for uh, Game of the Year. Uh, it's brutal, uh, brutal it in a good way. Brutal in a good way. Uh probably not. I would rather get like a PC version of it, not the uh, Switch version. Uh, which I which version if, do you own? I own the well. <laughs> I say physical. Uh, but it's really a digital code inside of a plastic case for the PC. Oh, okay. That's the version yeah. I so you own, all right, you got. You got it for the PC. You, you yeah. Own the, you yeah, own, yeah, yeah. Actually, own it physically. Okay, because I have it for the. Well, I mean, I I technically do, but it's just, there's no there's just no DVD in there, and I was very yeah. upset. I didn't I didn't realize when I bought I bought it off Amazon. I didn't realize that it said, you know, digital code only or whatever. Because yeah, I hate I, remember I, that hate, was the, I hate doing that. That's just a waste. I of remember. Plastic. It, you had, a, you had a gamer grief back then. Oh, I, well, I had a gamer grief, all right. You know, because then what do you do? You just scratch off the thing, and then you type in a, a you type in a bunch of numbers. I could just yeah. buy it online, you know, and I could have it that so, day instead of going out to the store. Ugh. Uh, Dave, that's it for the news. Mm-hmm, you got any mm-hmm. good, got any cool weekend plans? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got six hours of karaoke tomorrow, and uh, I'm a God, little afraid. That sounds- I said fun. Uh, any cool plan? Oh, it's that's, fun that's... for me, Dan. Well, you know, six it's a friend's. Is brutal. It's a six friend's. Six minutes is brutal. Let it's alone a... six hours. It's a friend's birthday, so I was invited. I'm gonna go. It's gonna be a good time. Got to pace myself because I've never done six hours before. The most I've done is four hours, and that's a lot. Usually, it's like two to three hours, and the group I'm with is is uh, is uh, good. So we'll see how that goes. And then next weekend. It's going to be a little camping celebration for my birthday. Uh, I know you hate the outdoors. I wish you could. Be I there, love the but... outdoors with mm-hmm. electricity and the cell phone and a grill. I love the outdoors. There's a grill. A... There's a grill. Oh, yeah, okay. There's All right. Grill. You got one. You got you one. You make your own three. fire. Um, no. You do. You do have no cell service up there. It is a dead zone. Uh, there's oh, no cell no. towers out there, which is a gift and a curse. Uh, and some sites have electricity. The one we're at doesn't. They call it rustic. So, uh, but yeah. I have, I have, I have a solar power generator and all that. So it's all good. We, we, we're making that work. Uh, yeah, I'm good. No, mm-hmm, need to keep mm-hmm. that. Well, what do you got going on that day? Uh, I am probably <clears throat> not going to go to the beach this weekend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I am going to go to the beach. Mm-hmm. Probably not going to do that this weekend. Next weekend I have, my boss is having a barbecue in his, mm. in his house. So I have to go to that. So probably mm-hmm. go to the beach the week after that. Okay. Um, but this weekend, just probably hang out, chill, go shopping, and sure. play some games, and get sure. ready for uh, Saturday morning retro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I am definitely looking forward to that. Oh, I got a good one coming up there, and yep. uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's about it, folks. That is uh, possibly our hottest episode ever, episode three twenty six. Hot, in hot, hot! The books. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Buster. <laughs> We want to thank you guys for uh, doing all the good stuff that you guys do, for uh, listening to the show, for liking, commenting, and uh, and all that stuff. If you want to interact with us, and we know that you do, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, at Rated G for Gamers. At us. Tell me how right or wrong I am about my opinions on Shredder's Revenge. Love to hear it. He's wrong. <laughs> uh, also... Well, you're part of the Gaming Podcast Alliance. You can check out all the fine podcasts featured on there at GamingPodcastAlliance.com if you're looking for more gaming goodness. So, please listen, like, rate, review, and subscribe. And as always, keep gaming. Keep gaming.